Old Eye from Brandenburg, and this is... Hi, I'm Markus Butcher from Germany. And um, Markus is the most spectacular tenor you'll ever hear. I really love his voice. <laughs> so, Markus, um, first of all, where were you born? I'm born in Bavaria, okay. but it's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> nice, and where do you live now? I live in Berlin. Okay. Yeah, that must be an incredible city. Oh yes, it's, it's a very liberal city, very open-minded. Yeah. And it's a cool place to be. You know, it's interesting, I started, when I started the Brandenburg Orchestra and I wanted to take a name uh, and I took the name Brandenburg not so much because of the, the goddess of victory who yeah. is on the top of the Brandenburg gate, right. uh, but because of the wonderful composer Bach. Um, oh yes, it was my favourite one. Yeah. You, you sing a lot of Bach. I, I, yes, I actually do. Yeah. And I love it. Yeah, it's, it's very passionate music, which some people wouldn't say, but I think it's very authentic. Yeah. The same as Mozart. Yeah. Well, actually, we're not doing Bach in this program, we're no. doing Mozart, and um, we're doing instrumental music, and we're doing these incredible arias from operas. Uh, some of them are stupid, some of them are really fun, some of them are really virtuosic, uh, and some of them are very passionate. Very true, very What's your favourite aria the mm. oh, Well, I, you know, I like the bad guys, you know, and uh, so uh, the Suleiman aria is very fun. You know, with a lot of text. So that's the last aria on the program. Yeah. That's when he's kind of built up all his muscle yeah. and strength. And he's like, ah, yeah. ah, ah, ah. Yeah. You know, exactly. He got cheated, you know, by his favorite um, servant, you know, Zahide. You know, he fell in love with him. And, and she ran off with a, with, with a, with a slave, you know. And she uh, gets so it's like, wrong, wrong. Exactly. <laughs> it's just a bit of the monologue is in German, so. But I try to make you understand. You so should come, it's very thrilling. Yeah, it's a great aria. <laughs> this monologue he's talking about is he just speaks at the beginning of the aria and says, Ah! I'm gonna go to blah, blah, blah. Exactly. And then the orchestra goes, boom, boom. And then, and what do you say? And oh, no, actually, I say, Hey, the bitch is gone. Oh, <laughs> oh I'm oh, sorry. Oh, 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 <laughs> forgive me. Uh, <laughs> and then the orchestra goes, blah, 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 blah. And then you say again, I say, Ha! Um, what is it? No, God, you know it. No, it's better to say. Die Schlange, die sich mit so vieler Sprödigkeit gegen die heftige Liebe eines Sultans geweigert hat! And I love screaming. Sing it, sing it. But you know what? It must be different when you sing Mozart in Italian, also. That's a very different language from your native German, right? Yeah, but you know, it becomes more and more familiar. But of course, you know, when you, when you, when you sing in your native language, then you know, it's more direct, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. But you know, it was the language of those days, yeah. and I love singing Italian, yeah. of course. Yeah. I find... And love always sounds better in Italian than German. Amore, amore. But I'm not sure if they're better lovers than the Germans are. <laughs> so you should come to the concert. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm singing. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have lots of fun. You should come to the Brandenburg concert. It's on in the next couple of weeks.